My favorite sign of the changing seasons occurs along Oregon rivers and streams when big husky salmon return to their home waters. It's a remarkable time to consider the cycle of life and death. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grand Skidaways, and this week we explore the Salmon River where a unique program is teaching youngsters and adults all about salmon biology plus some great spots to check out the salmon spawning activity. Come on along, we're going on a salmon watch. Nahalem Falls does so in a 20-yard stretch. If you bring patience with your camera, oh, I got that one. You'll earn a reward. So this is the first freshet. So all the fish that's been sitting in the bay all these time, they're on the move now. This is an awesome week. This is the first major obstacle for them. And so they got to practice. Husky salmon have muscled their way back from Salty Sea to find their birth home just in time to spawn. The turning drop gives salmon little choice, but a gang-up approach to leap for their lives, a fine place to capture a memory. Those are fun. You don't get any pattern now. Many Oregon streams like Eagle Creek in the Columbia River Gorge bear out what the calendar says. Summer has passed, and now it is fall. You see it? Moving, moving to the right. The Salmon River near Welch's, Oregon offers a fine spot for a salmon watch too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Yeah. Chinook salmon are hard to miss. Modeled black and gray, they started life right here four years ago. It's a lesson not lost on Kirk Ordway's sixth grade class. I've been fortunate enough to do this program for the last four years and it, I, it's huge. 1,200 students ranging from middle school through high school. Pretty amazing journey these guys go through. Will experience a salmon watch this fall, thanks to the not-for-profit Portland-based World Salmon Council. Ordway's watch actually began in his science class at Mount Tabor Middle School last month. Is it a stonefly? The salmon watch program provides the curriculum and even the supplies. So you're gonna determine while you're out there how much dissolved oxygen is actually in the Salmon River and they cover the cost of a field trip and even pay for a substitute teacher so Ordway can join his class. Do the salmon like hot water? No, they don't. Right. When you have shade and the water stays cool, the cooler the water, the happier the salmon. Out in the field, volunteer yeah. teachers like Not Janet much. Davis guide the newcomers with Ten scientific meters. methods. Not yet. To be able to think systematically, not to sort of, oh, I was told this and I, somebody I like said this, therefore it must be true. You need to have a way of verifying what you hear, what you see, what's before you. Davis is a retired nurse. Wonderful lichen here, isn't that beautiful? When she learned that Salmon Watch needed more volunteers, she stepped up to lead her life in a new direction. You have to love the out of doors and want to become part of it, and that's all you need. Salmon are so deeply characteristic of our region, and yet um, kids are growing up these days not knowing that, not knowing that we live so close to these magnificent streams that see these salmon swim on through every season. Students insist that a day here, streamside, observing and learning, takes hold in a way that the classroom can't. We tested water quality, we ran some transex lines mm -hmm. and quadrants. The salmon need uh, specific conditions to live in, so the water needs to be just like perfect temperature for them and then it can't be like affected that much by human and pollution and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's also kind of fun, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a lot it's, of fun. It's <laughs> way more fun than being in a classroom. Yeah. Tell me what you thought when you saw those big fish. All this stuff is just really cool to actually see it and actually being there, seeing it in the water uh, and in clear water, great water, it helps because it actually makes me think differently about fish. It's really cool. How often can you go around the city and see salmon running up in the stream? You can't. How often are you going to be walking through an old growth forest? You can't. So to be able to come out in an old growth forest and then to witness nature in its life cycle, you can't beat that.
We have all the details, directions, contact information so you can make your own salmon watch right here on the Travel Oregon website, so check it out. Until next week, do get out here, explore the great Oregon outdoors, let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.